Okay guys, I wanted to show you how I'm using my GoPro Hero 7 as a dash cam. I've been wanting to use a dash cam for a while and I really, really love the GoPro. And I thought I'd try it out. Now the sample clips that I did today really came out good and I'd sent one to my nephew and he was really interested after he seen the video footage. He couldn't believe how stable it was and how I could move it around at any angle and get any part of the inside or outside of the car that I needed to. So I basically made a video to him and I explained to him what makes this setup key and why this works so well. And I'm gonna explain it to you guys right now. So this is the GoPro Hero 7 and I have the white. You can get whichever one you want, uh, you know, to work for you. And this is basically, there's two key reasons that this camera works so well as a dash cam. Number one is that it has the best stabilization built in that I've ever seen to date. Um, I've been doing YouTube videos for 11 years and I've never had a camera that had better stabilization built in than this. Uh, when I was testing this and I was at Cedar Point and I was walking, uh, the stabilization on this GoPro was just as good as my gimbal that I bought, professional gimbal that I bought for my iPhone, which has the technology of a drone uh, motor in it to stabilize. This was just as good. Now the second key thing to having this not move and be steady and me being able to move it around is this thing right up here and that's called the ball joint uh, swivel mount right there. It's kind of stiff to turn so you have to give it some pressure but you can turn your camera and it does loosen up as you know as time goes on and whatnot as you use it. But this is why that this works so well as a dash cam. Now, and I'm also gonna show you my view because it doesn't even obstruct my view because of how small it is. So basically, if I'm sitting back here, here's my rear view mirror. It's kind of up behind the rear view mirror and my head, my eye levels right here. All I have to do is lean in just a little bit and I can see this entire back screen right there. It's off, have the camera off right now, but I'll go ahead and turn it on because I'm gonna do a little uh, video for you guys with this and added into this one. So there it is with the screen on. And I'm also gonna turn this around and show you guys uh, what it looks like and how many angles I can get in the car. I'm gonna do that right now. All right guys, so let's say you get pulled over or somebody comes up to your car door for whatever reason and you wanna get that quickly on film. All you have to do is just reach up with your right hand and you can turn the camera right over here and you can get everything you would need. The camera has a wide angle lens, so that's gonna really come in handy for you. You're gonna be able to see uh, whatever you need to see there at, at any angle, basically, as you can see when I move it around. Now, if I wanna do videos and talk on cam, all I have to do is turn it like this toward me and I can sit here and I can be uh, on camera and just, you know, do some video vlogs or talk to you guys or, you know, whatever I want to do in here. Or I can get video footage behind the car if there's something going on behind me or there's something I need to show. Whether it's road rage or somebody's pulling up behind me and they're doing something crazy, I can get that on video as well. Now I'm going to show you to the passenger side how we can get all that footage uh, as well. So there would be the passenger side. I can angle it however I want where I can get part of the back seat or I can get just, you know, just the front. And uh, it really does come in handy. Then I would just bring this back around here and turn on my screen. And I can angle this right however I need it uh, back in line, just like that, guys. So let me know what you think, guys. And um, so far, I'm really impressed with this GoPro. I like it so much, I'd like to have another GoPro. And you guys know I only say, I only do that with things that I really like. Video of the GoPro from the outside of the car. This is all you can see of the GoPro. Notice how it's turned upside down. It does just like a cell phone. Whichever way you orientate the camera, the video just flows right along with it. You don't ha ever have to spin the video. It just corrects itself and it makes itself upright whenever you turn the camera, no matter how you turn it. So this is how it is. Right really discreet in front of the rear view mirror, the outside view here. Okay guys, this is going to be a few different video clips I'm going to show you uh, while driving. This first one is just on a very overcast and rainy day, and this is just what it would look like. I have no bright sunlight whatsoever, just to give you a view of that.
All right, guys, I was also lucky enough to get a video today in some pretty bad weather. So this is going to show you what the GoPro video would look like in a thunderstorm or in heavy downpour. Also, keep in mind as you're watching these video clips of how stable the camera is and the stabilization quality uh, that it has that I'm really impressed with. But I just wanted to give you some shots and let you see what kind of view you'd have if you were in bad weather because you're, it's not always going to be a sunny day when you're out there. This video is to give you an idea of what the camera looks like as it's getting dark. It's not completely dark out, but it is getting pretty close, and I thought this would give you a pretty good representation of what you're dealing with in low-light situations with this camera setup.